Okay, so I thought today that what we would do would be to make a bush tomato and goat's cheese crackers, in a sense. So what we've done is to take out some butter, it's 55 grams of butter, and I've softened, softened that a little bit in the um, microwave simply because it was not at room temperature, which it should be. And into the blender we're also going to put in a packet of goat's cheese feta. It's Australian feta of course, South Cape. And we're going to mix that up. So it's going to make a little bit of wine. And once we've got that all sort of mixed up together, we're going to add in about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and about a little bit of bush tomato. Now the bush tomato, uh, I'm always a little bit more generous with the bush tomato because I just love the taste. Um, the bush tomato is grown out into the, in the arid regions of Australia. Some places it's called kuchura, some places are kujura, other places it's called desert raisin. So it really depends on the area that you're in. This here is a tablespoon of just plain ordinary flour and we're going to mix that all together. It's a quite a, a crumbly sort of a, a mix. A bush tomato is fantastic to use if you're making a pasta sauce. Uh, anything that's tomato based will definitely benefit from bush tomato. The, the, what it adds to the dish I can't describe, but it adds something that is just irreplaceable. Okay, so I've turned the mixture, which is really crumbly, turned it out onto a piece of uh, glad wrap and formed it into like a log thing and um, basically going to just roll that up. Well, that's the plan there. That wasn't very good. Um, roll that up so that we end up with a long loggy thing and uh, put it into the fridge. Okay so we're going to continue on with the bush tomato and goat's cheese crackers. We've left the mixture overnight in the fridge and wrapped in plastic and what we're going to do now is to slice it into one centimetre rounds and bake it. So I think that's about a centimetre there and these would be nice to have with you know drinks, appetizers, that sort of thing. It's quite firm so you need to put a little bit of pressure there behind it. So we've just finished that now and it's really quite simple. We've lined the tray with pa baking paper and we just simply put it on there and we're going to put it in an oven for a, at 190 degrees for approximately 12 to 16 then it'll depend on whether your oven's fan forced or how well it's going you basically want a nice little golden um, effect on top of them and that's all there is to it really there we go so now we're just going to go and put that in the oven, which I've had preheating here. And that's all we need to do. And we'll set the timer going and uh, pull it out when it's ready. And we'll show you what it looks like when it comes out.